Okay, walking a cat on a lead. Now, a week ago I thought this was pretty impossible, but today I've had him out, and now he's walking pretty good on the lead, actually. For just a short time, he's picked it up pretty good. And we can walk along. Come on, Sola. He does want to stop and check everything out. Sola, come on. Come on, buddy. But it's not bad. It is not bad. He's gotten a bit... Down the road was a bit better. There's too much stuff here to get in his interest. But he's not too, not going too bad. Go on, Sola. So I think with a bit more practice, I think he's going to be really good at this. I think he's going to be really good. That he's not pulling on the lead and carrying on, he just sort of will walk pretty good. So it's just a bit of patience, you have to have a little bit of patience with him. You've got to have a little bit of patience. I just give him a little bit of a nudge on the lead, I don't sort of drag him along, I just give him a little bit of a nudge to get him going again. And then he'll, he'll sort of move off. Come Sola. He just wants to check everything out. He's just curious. There we are. Got a bit of a stick he's picking up. Come on, Sola. Sola, don't worry about that. Here. Yeah, don't eat that. It's not good to eat. And uh, we're off. So I think it's not a bad, a bad way. I've had, before I had him in the backyard in the front yard like backyard in the afternoon because it's shaded and the front yard in the morning because it's shaded so it's not so hot but I thought today I'd just sort of try him on the street and we're going pretty good as you can see he's walking along fine we're not having any real problem with it so come on Sol you know for uh, now I, I've only it's not even two weeks since I've had I've started with the lead. On Monday it will be two weeks, so you know, just every day I've been putting the harness on him, and he, and he likes the harness now. He he'll put it on really easy. Come on, Sola, Sola. He'll put the harness on really easy because he know he can get out if we have the harness on. So he sort of got used to it. So I think one thing too is to start him early. So he's only four or five months old. We're not sure how old he is. He's only young. So I think that's the best time to start. Come on, Sola. Don't worry about that. I don't know what you got there. Come on. So, you know, he, he, sometimes you're curious. You know, you don't want to be going somewhere in a hurry. But, you know, just to get outside and have a bit of a walk around, I think you'll be fine. So yeah, it's good fun. Yeah, he's just checking stuff. Come on. Come on, Sola. Sola, come on. And I've been sort of, you know, I give him some treats and that, so he likes getting treats. He loves getting treats. Where are you going? You want to go this way, do you? Yeah, we'll go back then. So yeah, it's definitely not like a dog training a dog to walk on a lead it's very different cats are very different but that's not bad so I think if you do do it too you want to find a nice quiet place to walk them you don't want a lot of traffic and very noisy they, they freak out over noise and that where around my place we don't get any cars coming up here so it's fine so you know we hardly ever get any cars it's very quiet around here we're out in the country so that's not bad so i think you've just got to be careful where you take them for a walk but i think once they get used to it too i think it'd be okay to introduce a bit more traffic and a bit more noise and that sort of thing see how he goes we've got some stairs here i want to see if you'll go up the stairs i want to see if you'll go up Come on, Sola. Let me see if we're about the stairs. We've got the stairs here. They go up to a company up on the hill. So I want to see if you if you work on the stairs. 
Here we've got the stairs going up the hill. Do it, Sola. Got it, do it. Sola. You coming? Sola. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Look. Sola. Huh. He goes every which side. Come on. Come on. Hey, yeah, no problem. Bit of an adventure cat in there. What do you reckon about this? Come on. Sola. No, no, you're not too keen on the stairs. You coming? Come on. But yeah. Yeah, we'll go back down. Come on. No, you don't want to go the bush route, do you? But yeah, cats, they'll just want to check out wherever they want to go but I think that is one thing too if you're going to try get them walking on the lead I, I would start early when they're young let them get used to it this harness is not so big but I'll, I'll probably have to buy a new one when he gets a bit bigger it's sort of come on I think it will be too small before long but that's okay it was only like 10 bucks so not a lot of expense and I'll get him a bigger one and he'll be right but yeah yeah no we're not going into the bush you find snakes and all sorts of things in there we don't need any snakes we don't need any snakes I don't want you playing with any poisonous snakes but yeah out for a walk he likes it gives him a bit of exercise so anyway, if you've got a cat, have a go at trying to put them on a leash and go for a walk. It is a bit of fun. And I think it's interesting for your cat too. It gets them outside, gives them a bit of entertainment. Like he's excited, he's looking around at everything. Checking everything out. He's having a bit of fun. Okay, that's all for this video. I just thought I'd just show you how he's progressing, which I'm really happy with. So I think in another few weeks I think he's going to be really good I think he'd be really good on the lead because I'm pretty happy with him now today he's going real good this is the first time I really had him out walking him and he's picked it up really well okay hope you enjoyed it